All right, Mike Johnson from PW Insider TV here with the director of the forthcoming ECW documentary, still untitled. We're waiting, Kevin Kiernan. Co-director, don't forget. Co-director. Uh, wait, now wait. Co-director. John Philip Havage told me he's the producer and you're the director. We run kind of a loose ship. I'll tell you later. It's a very incestuous <laughs> ship. Um, now you have an interesting story here. Where John Philip Havage was a lifelong ECW fan from when right. he was a young kid, yes. or I should say, teenager. You had no ECW fandom background whatsoever before you came on this project. So no. my the the interesting thing to me is you bring a virgin eye to that whole experience, good and bad so to speak, and the rise and fall of the story of that company. So I got to say when you first came on board and you started seeing the epitome and, and the essence of what ECW was, what was your first reaction to the footage and your first reaction to the project itself? Oh, man, it, I mean, it was so long ago now that I actually have trouble remembering what I first thought. But, I mean, I think the thing that first struck me about it was just that I didn't know that that, that that was pro wrestling. I didn't know that that could be pro wrestling. I mean, all I knew of wrestling was as a kid seeing WWF, seeing Hulk Hogan, seeing that stuff. And I really had no idea it was going on, and it just, um, you know, it just struck me as very interesting. And having John be so gung-ho about it and wanting to really get into it, investigated it, I, yeah, wanted to get into it and investigate it, I thought, well, yeah, sure, I'll now, check this out. Now, what's it like for someone who's outside of that bubble trying to document and investigate a business that's built on lies? Especially when you've got so many characters who, over the years, probably very forgetful, very right. chemically induced at different times of their lives, uh, and, and honestly, a business where, let's face it, there are a bunch of liars and everybody's out to make themselves look like the most important cog in the machine. So how do you, as someone who doesn't have, you know, a PhD in wrestling history or a PhD in the personalities involved, how do you sift through that and make sure you're getting the best film? Well, I think, you know, as much as the wrestling business is built on what wrestling people call a work, I think when you sit down with somebody and you have a camera in front of them, they generally are... Generally, I think people were fairly honest with us about their experience. Um, but the way people remember their experiences or the way people choose to retell their experiences do get colored by the things that they want to put across and what they actually, you know, the way they remember it is colored by what they want the perception of reality to be. So I don't think it's that much different than covering any other business in a lot of ways. You still have to look through a lot of footage and gauge the reasons people are saying what they are saying and whether it's close to an objective truth or not as close as you can get to an objective truth. One of the things that you always used to hear back during the heyday of ECW is that the violence desensitized the audience. As someone who was never exposed to it, how desensitized do you feel after working so much on the project? Pretty desensitized, actually. I mean, I'll tell you the truth. It's like... We've watched so much footage of chair shots and, and bloody scenes and things like that. And a lot of that stuff that was so shocking to me when I first saw it and made me the most interested, now it, it doesn't faze me much. I, I mean, that actually is kind of surprising, but it's true. You do just get desensitized. You can, it's easy to let yourself forget how much these guys actually got hurt and how much punishment they took when you're watching it over and over again. And now we're at the stage with this film where we're starting to sort of show rough cuts to, to, to a few people who we trust their opinions on, and it's interesting watching the reactions of people who aren't wrestling fans at all and don't know anything about wrestling, and they see, like, you know, a really vicious chair shot or something, and you kind of see it again through their eyes for the first time, you go like, ow, yeah, it's wild, you know, and it's crazy what these guys do. Is there any uh, one moment or theme in the in the film that really um, really made a, made a mark on you as you kind of investigated ECW and kind of figured out the journey that the film was going to take? Was it is there like one moment or one sequence that you're really excited about people seeing because it struck a nerve with you? Um, I think well, there's two things really. There's the way we cover the violent aspect of it. I think is interesting because we got to, we talked to a lot of wrestlers who were involved with the more hardcore stuff and it was interesting to hear them talk about that aspect of what they did in a really what I thought was a really honest way where 
they're just, I mean, they are legitimately tough guys and put themselves through a lot, but it was because they, in large part because they wanted to be great entertainers. And I thought that was, that was interesting. And they loved that interaction with the fans. And that brings me to the second point, which is just that the, the fans of ECW in particular were, yeah, some people called it in the interviews that there was a synergy between the fan and the company, and I always thought that was a really interesting story, that there wasn't much disconnect between the fans and the wrestlers as, um, as an entity. The company was about both things, you know, it wasn't about just wrestlers putting on a performance. You got a chance to actually kind of taste firsthand or see firsthand the rabid nature of the ECW fan base, even all these years later with the Kickstarter campaign. Um, the Kickstarter campaign actually went well above what you guys even asked for. Yeah. What was your reaction to that? That's a good question. I, um, I know that should be an easy question. I mean, I was happy. Um, but I think I was surprised in a lot of ways, actually. Um, I guess I'm surprised that there's still that much interest in it. Um, and gratified that there is, and hopefully we can uh, can can do them do them justice and uh, deliver an interesting film on the subject. Right now, uh, I asked John this, and he no sold it. Wouldn't tell me. Mm. What's the name of the film? What's the big mystery? I don't know. I just don't know. No one tells me anything. So uh, obviously, the premiere is going to be coming up in the next couple of months. Explain what your what your work process is from this point until the first film premiere uh, has the screening unroll. Uh, from here on, it's I mean, there's a lot of tedious stuff left. There's a lot of audio editing. There's some more fun, creative stuff. There's some music that still needs to be figured out and laid in. Um, so a lot of it's the tedious stuff, trying to make it look good and sound as good as it can. Um, and the other part is just watching it over and over again and then taking a day off from watching it so you can actually watch it again and hope it makes any sense to you. Because when you watch it so much, it gets hard to even know what you're watching at some point, so you have to take a little bit of a break. So uh, as someone who came into ECW kind of blind and unknowing what the company was about, why do you think someone who's never seen a pro wrestling film or wasn't a pro wrestling fan or, even, or ever heard of ECW should check out your film? Because it's, um, I think it's an honest look at a part of the entertainment industry and how it, it got to be that way. I think it's a, um, it's an interesting look at, at people who had what's, what most people would think of as, as a kind of unique and interesting dreams and really went all out to try to achieve those dreams and made, made a difference in a, in a big entertainment industry. Um, in a big way. All right, final question. Uh, obviously, the film deals with the death of ECW and its subsequent resurrections. Uh, as someone from the outside looking in, ECW, success or failure? I mean, I think it was definitely a success in that I think when you talk to the people who were involved in the early days, they never would have imagined it, it would go on and do uh, what it did. Um, so in that way, I think it's obviously a success. I think it was, you know, a small group of creative people that came together to really try and do something they believed in. And when you're trying to do that, I mean, and, you're, and you try and stay true to that, then there isn't really success or failure kind of isn't even the right question. You know? All right. Well, Kevin, I want to thank you for your time, and uh, we look forward to seeing the film as it's uh, unveiled in the next couple of months. And uh, everyone can check out Facebook.com slash... BWC production BWC films sure. okay well if I'm wrong just click the link under this thank you very much for your time thank you Mike appreciate it